It's been a great experience for myself and for the students to uh, go through the music of the Beatles, and particularly the uh, historical Sgt. Pepper's band. And uh, it's been a lot of fun, particularly working with these particular students. They're extremely dedicated, talented, and um, they all have personalities of their own. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce a personal uh, icon of mine, someone who I've known about now for quite a few years and just recently got to meet anyone in the recording business and in the business of music knows that this person is probably one of the best ever. I'd like to introduce a person who recorded everyone from John Coltrane to Otis Redding to one more time. Rod Stewart, Eric Clapton actually produced and um, and uh, recorded the Layla album by Derek and the Dominoes. Would you please welcome Tom Dowd. so much time and became so interested in something that happened in the 60s uh, is quite heartwarming to me. I, the few of you who I saw at the Hard Rock the other day, because I've done lectures at the Hard Rock on student opportunity days two, three times in a row now, uh, this month commences my 50th year making my record. Survived is, I can't tell you how many artists I've killed, okay? <laughs> but the important thing is to those of you who are the parents or big brothers and sisters of the youngsters performing tonight, uh, you can relate to them that in the 60s you didn't have MTV, you did not have VH1, you were fortunate if you had a 14 inch on the television set. They were just coming into vogue and extremely expensive. And you didn't have half the communications opportunities that the youngsters who were 15, 16, 17, 18 today presume have been there since the beginning of time. It's not that way. Uh, during the 60s, it was a major breakthrough in the music business. And there was a whole new audience uncovered. It had always been there, but they'd never been accepted. Because the major record companies still appealed to the Tony Bennett's, the Frank Sinatra's, the Count Basie, the King Cole. And they didn't know about Blue Lamp and the Indian Imperial. They found a Dion by accident, and they didn't know what to do with them. And thus, the smaller record companies through the 50s and 60s, and creating a new artist like Otis Redding, Michael Brown, Break the Light, Aretha Franklin, Mike Crane. They were a reflection of the younger audience out <coughs> there wanting to hear music that was germane to the life that they were living. You are capturing one of the great transition pieces in the history of communication and how music affected communication. To this day, as the young people here know basketball statistics, football statistics, baseball statistics, the Panthers playing tonight, whatever you want, the way our community is dedicated to sports. If you go to an English public school in the 7th, 8th, and ninth grades, they're still having to read Elizabethan English script, Shakespeare, Marlowe, Chaucer, things like that. That gives them a different command of the English language. 
You don't realize that a lot of the things that English artists sing to us are actually American music, stamped American music, whether it was done by Pat Domino, Ray Charles, any of those ethnic artists. And when the English do it, and they sing the song back to you with the elocution that goes with every word that they pronounce, you are in awe of their wonderful delivery of the same words. If I sang it to you in the original way, you wouldn't understand what man sang for the enunciation of that. Okay? Whether it's the BG, who just live a few blocks from here, or Eric Clapton, or Phil Collins, any of those people, they all still speak with the English formation of words. That was the thing. Now I'm going to touch on one thing before I release. When I started my business 50 years ago, 1947, Any record by a black artist was called a race record. Hello? It took five years to erase that stigma and call them rhythm and blues records. There were three black artists who get played in white radio stations, otherwise none of them got played. Louis Armstrong, Nat King Cole. Think about Nat King Cole. That man took elocution lessons for three years, and you never heard him say anything where the words were not pronounced and formed properly. So that until you saw a picture of him, you had no way of knowing by listening to him that he was not right. You hear what I'm saying? The English grew up on our music. They play back our music and we accept it because the dialect is different, but the music is the same. As I say, as time goes by, things get better and better. Political lines disappear, racial lines disappear, all things disappear. And what's the common denominator? Music. There's no national boundary to music. Enjoy it. It's like music.
surprise, there will be a show tonight at one going. The hand is on, we'll all be there, let it find the back as well, what a say. Oh, and horses, hoops, and garments, plastic, my horse and all free of fire. Be this way, means the game will change the world.
Thank you, Mr. Green.
Good morning. Good morning.
Somebody spoke and I went into a dream.